go. I wish you would. I wait. Why? Bruh. But you. After what I think is you and Darrell? Ain't no way. Well, go to my YouTube called Trey Gamer. Why? Why you go easy against them then? The Gator offense about ready to get. What toothpaste? I don't have toothpaste in my bathroom. I have toothpaste in my bathroom. I don't have toothpaste in my bathroom. That toothpaste is gone. I don't have toothpaste in my bathroom. That's about gone. Cause I used all of it. My bathroom is clean. Let me see everything. In my line. You hear me? Go to my YouTube, man. It's too much. Mm. I'm gonna watch my own stream. No okay. cap. Watching that on YouTube, but but you sound like smoking bricks. <laughs> Wait, did it really turn off? But you got a speaker. How you playing music? Bro, the bass is going stupid in my headset, bro. Bro, I can hear it. And uh, you know how the bass, and you know how you know how you have a speaker and you can hear the bass and the bass sounds so cold. Bro, the bass is in my ear and it's, I'm, I'm just like, bro, how is the bass so hard in my ear though? It's smooth. Like, oh my god. She wanna be my baby. She wanna be my little baby. This next drive started, and they had the fumble <laughs> last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no no. We'll see what they <laughs> do here this go around. A big no no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Know, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Four yards to pick up. First down. Nasty. First and 10 at the 37 yard line. <laughs> 
the lane opens up that time as he'll be brought down just short of a first after a gain of about nine. But you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. Bro. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Here's Ellington. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Guess what, Ethan? Just a yard, but it's a first down. You brought him on the day. Take a shot down, feel it's a great spot. For I'll turn the green. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they're just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. Go 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 first first down. Down. on the drive already. As they'll go from the 47 now on first down. That's my son sitting down for it, because ever since he got over there, he's been moving around. He had a great strong move, but he'll still be stopped shy of midfield. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Ooh, yeah, she has. You didn't even tell the truth. Second and nine. From the shotgun, here's White. He finds Smith out of the backfield. Some extra space following the display of power. You felt for that, you felt for that yeah, dumbest thing ever. It's a gain of eight. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Bro, so oh my man, it's so smooth, bro. I'm a smooth dude. The On the ground, Ellington. Ooh, look at that boy, y'all like a lumberjack, boy. Gets in the first before he's brought down. No, I'm, not. I'm actually not. Game, and it'll result in a fresh set of downs. Nigga, that was there. We're going to get smacking me. Come here, boy. You're going flex on your head. Con hater. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half. And I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him. Hello? Bro, I'm about to listen older than older, no kids. Much space, a loss results oh, yeah. there. Knock him down. Damn. Get that ah. ball. Oh, 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 most, 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 most. They're trying to get back the middle. Now. Look to throw. How is he completing it? Tight end Perkins. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. The of After the one, play. seven, nothing. On EA Sports. Gator is nothing. Operating from the gun. White is caught at the four. And he will score. Touchdown, Florida. A five-yard touchdown. And his guys are an extra point away from tying this thing up. CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, I, that's exactly uh, uh, what you I, do. You start from the that, widest I, receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The he better win, right? He's 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 exactly he better win, he's a lefty threat. He won't roll over, but he won't fuck that shit. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, my head. My mama, uh, with, my mama went to go get a hydrant, so if you come over here, I'm going to have to come to my mama and tell her that she is here. The Ducks set to go on offense as they come to the line. A good balance attack for that last touchdown drive they had. Now it's time to see if they can do that again. It really becomes a tale of two players. Oh, I see you, guys. The offensive guy, I see you, guys. Everything is working pretty well for the defense. Oh, you gay for that. That's a tough one because he's prepped all week as well, and he can't get a bead on exactly what they're doing right now. What he needs is one of his guys just to make a big play and disrupt things. He's wide open. Oh yeah, he got him. He got him burnt. He got him burnt. Live in the play, bro. However, we do have a flag down. I can't lie. No, like I, well, I'll whoop you like I did in Madden 20, but stop lying. So they saw the contact before the ball arrived. Penalty flag for pass interference. And trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. I really don't have to say Ricky Moore. Skilled receivers, and somehow, some way, they make plays on the football. Oh yeah. How you want to? This dude, bro, I'm not, bro. Bro, what? Bro, I literally threw it to the running back. He was wide open, then bounced out his hand. How? Oh, wide open. Have taken the lead. What a special moment for him. The first passing touchdown of his college career, and certainly a moment that he will never forget. And it always helps to get that first one out of the way, doesn't it? I know right now that he just wants to go and jump to the top of the stadium and throw his hands up and exult a little bit. But he's had a chance to prove that he can do it now. He got it done. It's been a long time in the making. Now he's just got to harness that emotion. Oh, when they were here, I'm like. Jumanji! Cause I'm trying to get this motherfucking game. Ready to begin their next drive. Here's the Florida offense. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and ten. And For the first time the in forever. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. So after the run for no gain, oh, hell no, it's second and two. God damn. At the 25 yard line. Ah, oh yeah, I'm on your. Oh, I missed. Get him! Get him! First down, past the 40, and all the way up to the 46. That's good. Now you stand on my foot up. I did. Different story here, over 20 yards. I did not been here for three weeks, boy. Now White with a first down. Yeah, I had it. This pass to Jennings, and he makes a catch. The completion, oh. but they go in the oh, wrong direction. Oh, it's been long tonight. Loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Second and twelve now at the fourth. Outside dating on the uh. Oh, I wanted Jennings. to cut it back, boy. I want to crack that boy. Take this one up close to about the forty-five. The second down. Ow, 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 ow. He's seeing your face, got That's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and still down for a win. And they'll get him down as he's inside the four. I know I don't want to do it. Concept. Man blitz. Boom. Run through that mother. We want to get him. Get him. Get him. Let me ask you, how does a college offense differ from an I told you, boy. Oh, no. Okay. Now, uh. Plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure. Oh, whoa! Football. Down he goes. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. That's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it. I know. I, I, I didn't believe it. I don't know. first down. He's wide the freak open. Open man is Galladay complete. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. 22 more. A good pick up there, a 22. Another Florida first down. White operating from the gun. Woo! Incomplete. White's pass. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got some... Bro, the bases in my ear, it sounds so good. They're going to continue to go there until the defense 
takes an adjustment, takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stuff. Third and goal now, mere inches from Pater. Like, play from little Uzi. I'll bet you the beat go hard. So a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while. But when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives. I just got my sacks at the middle. I got a play. So a dozen plays on that drive, CD, but in the Ooh. end, it yields just the three but points. But a defense, well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time. But let's be honest about it. That's about as unsatisfying a drive do, as you're going to get. That. 12 plays and you only get three back. points out of it. <clears throat> Not quite the ending they were looking Great. for. Cut it up, cut. Yard line. Hey. The Oregon offense on the field ready mm -hmm. for their next possession. Uh -huh. And still plenty of time remaining here in the oh half. More than a minute. Man, I did. We'll oh see if they just want to protect that lead or try to add on to it. Well, with as much time as is left. That's caught inside the 20. And he will score. Touchdown, Ducks. Quintez Anderson, 66 yards. And the Ducks have further their advantage. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively. They've scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more? zone coverage right now they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction fields it in the middle of the end zone and it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return the Gators now with a first and ten here's white can't get away and he's taken down. Well, you play no wrong song. I don't like that song. Take a little time to develop and it can often hit big. But sometimes it you gotta play, you gotta play love my slack. And sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack? Yeah, I play love my slack by him. Typically a blitz. And even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, that allows your blitzers to get there. From the shotgun now. Here's an inside kill. And he's going to have a first down, but not sure it'll matter as the clock will continue to run. Now another timeout called for by the offense yeah. as they'll stop it with a it's little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. On first and 10, White. And that one will fall incomplete. Intended for his block here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Uh, 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 line of scrimmage again, the 37 as they uh, line up second uh, and 10. Uh, Throwing uh, again, uh, White. Uh, this time for Smith, and it's uh, intercepted. Uh, 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 and that's a great example of ball skills uh, right there, partner. Uh, uh, you and uh, I do uh, a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys. Before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. Forced out to his left. That'll be taken in by Anderson. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A really nice gain of 25 okay. yards. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And with that, we reach halftime in Miami in the opener to this college football season. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in corner number three. And able to get this out to the 25. Over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. The Ducks set to go on well, offense he said as they come half. to the line. I said, he they said, I was play first half. half lead. Now they have a chance oh, to add on half. to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent yeah, the entire good. half right. time just working with them on right, right. here's what right. they think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Oh, nice oh. first half. Hot nigga no bottom right. We're prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see oh. when we kick Nigga's still the getting burned hot, dog. See how they any adjustments that might be made defensively. Damn. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Now he's flushed out right. He's going to take off with it. 
And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. Seven-yard line. Now a play fake here on first down. And he rifles one incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. A second down carry for Ferguson. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. This will be caught at about the six. And he will score. Touchdown, Ducks. A one-yard touchdown reception. And the Ducks have furthered their advantage. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is up to 18 now. Now after the touchdown, here's Oregon set to kick it off. This taken in about four yards deep. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. The Gator offense about ready to get this next drive started. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing. And try and get back to where you were to start the half. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Brings up second and 11 at the 34-yard line. On second and 11 now. White, that one complete to his receiver, Jennings. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. 16 yards, a first down. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen, because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. And he will be knocked down hard, but he will have the first down. Five yards that time, taking it himself, and he has enough for the first. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the gun, White. Now White lost the football, and this will be scooped up by the defense. He was under duress, surveying, trying to find somebody to get the ball out of his hands. In the meantime, the defense, they took it out of his hands. And when the ball snapped, I know exactly what the defense is thinking. Get a sack. Put him on the ground. But when you can also knock the ball free while doing so, oh, there's the bonus for you as a defender. He's got the hook up here on the comebacker. Complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 25 yards that time. Back to throw. Dancing to his left. Letting one go deep for the end zone. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Oregon. Jared Rust there to make the grab. And the Ducks have furthered their advantage. 
And that's now his fourth touchdown pass of the ball game. And boy, this has been quite a performance for the junior, as we remind you, getting his first ever college start. And this has really been an amazing story because ordinarily, when a junior's making his first start, he's had a few reps along the way prior to, but in this case, the number is zero. So this is almost off the charts. They were watching him make his first start as a junior, and already he's throwing four touchdown passes in this game. This is absolutely amazing. Ready to begin their next drive. Here's the Florida offense. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Good word. I like it, though, because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All came long. They've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah, yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> Officially, no gain on the play, and it's second down. No gain on the play. Brings up second and ten. Again, they run with Ellington. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. Back now here on EA Sports. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. And boy, this is going to be close. That mark looks a little short, and he didn't get there. They come up short here on fourth down, and the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. The Ducks come up now first and ten. He'll look to throw. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Oregon. A big play there. 45 yards. As his guys continue to pour it on. Touchdown number five for the junior quarterback, and that certainly makes Coach O'Brien's job at the postgame press conference a lot easier. And you're right, he certainly made Coach O'Brien's press conference awfully easy. But how about the conversation he's now going to have to have with Tommy Matthews? Because all indications we had from talking with Coach during the preseason, he told them both that they were going to get their chance. But now that this guy's throwing five touchdown passes, now he has to go back to Tommy Matthews and kind of shrug his shoulders and say, I know what I intended to do. I know what we talked about. But he's got the hot hand. We're going to have to go with it. On first down, it's White. And Ellington has it, middle of the field. Now Ellington lost the football. It's out. And this is going to go the other way. The defense has it. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down and down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy. But they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. They'll drop the throw. He's got Givens. And down inside the 15 he goes. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Only a yard on the keeper and it'll be second down. And he's going to keep this again. And he goes backwards here. Losing yardage back to the 16. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. This is caught. And he will score. Touchdown, Ducks. Quintez Anderson, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And this offense continues to pour it on. 
Well, they mentioned this week, Charles, they had a couple kinks on offense that they wanted to fix. I would say they're pretty well fixed. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. I mean, just about everything they've run has been successful in this one. And if I'm the defensive coordinator, I'm done with this, right? I have no answers for anything. In fact, I probably send a note to the clock operator. Let it run. Fielded in the end zone. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. 25-yard line. The Gator offense about ready to get this next drive started. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. You always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, punt the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, in trouble, and he's taken down. So that right now, that's a defeated team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. Uh, it's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. And the pressure gets to him again. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Well, a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Oregon offense on the field ready for their next possession. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them. It's caught inside the 25. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. It's a gain of 35. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Flush to his right. This is caught. And he will score. Touchdown, Ducks. A 24-yard touchdown as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. Did you see how the linebackers froze for just a second? That's why you run play action. You want to keep them rooted in the spot and create a little bit of extra space so your tight end can find some room behind them. And then the quarterback finds his target downfield, and he turns it into six points. Now after the touchdown, here's Oregon set to kick it off. Oh, trying to gauge the sun, and he muffs it. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. The Gators take over first and 10 at their own 39-yard line. Ready to begin their next drive. Here's the Florida offense. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 45. Uh -huh, there he uh -huh. goes left side. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. And this one incomplete. So they went for the two. They don't get it. I know we could sit up here and dance around it a little bit. But going for two in this situation, somebody doesn't like someone else. There is no doubt in my mind. Well, what they couldn't see is you lean back in your chair and you went, I mean, you, yeah, that's, that's not a good decision. They didn't get it, though. Yeah, I don't think you can just say, well, my kicker's hurt in this moment. No, no. Okay. At their own 29-yard line. The Gator offense about ready to get this next drive started. Right now. Throwing after the interception. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. To throw again on second down. White. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. The catch and run there. Good for 16 and a first. 40-yard line. White looks to throw. Pressure comes and down he goes. A 
I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stat sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. A loss of 14 on the play. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. 62. Gators 10. So things got off to a solid start, but after several weeks, you and Tommy had rotated quite a bit, reminiscent of Michigan when Tom Brady and Drew Henson split snaps. That had to be frustrating for you both. Some huge Wake up. To get to and none more what are these dishes doing at my feet? Because it's time for you to start cleaning up your crap. Uh, these dishes have been lying in the sink for almost two weeks. I mean, look at this place. It's a disaster. You're leaving everything laying around. It's ridiculous. Who crawled up your butt and died? You. Gross. Hey, get up, man. I want to watch some TV. You've been laying out here all morning. What's got you two all riled up? <sighs> Just turn up the volume, would you? The Heartbreak Kids have gone from sensational dynamic duo to a sudden two-headed monster. And boy, this is an ugly one. Hey, I thought I played pretty good out there. This team still has not found its identity, and I know that Coach O'Brien claims that his two-quarterback system is matchup-based, but I gotta tell you, it sure looks like he still doesn't have a clue what's going on. As Coach Madden famously once said, if you've got two quarterbacks, you've got none. And right now, I gotta tell you, man, Coach O'Brien's indecisiveness with the most important position on the team is only gonna lead to problems on the field. The answer is simple. Just start me. That would make the situation worse. I mean, the team plays better when I'm on the field. Everybody knows that. If I could just get into a rhythm, I'd be fine. Last thing I need is to be worrying about you breathing down my neck if I make one mistake. Well, you better believe it that I'll be there when you do. Okay, I see what's going on here, guys. I don't know what made you follow me here and try to win back your old position. I mean, you could have just kept the heartbreak kids going, or you could have went your own route on another team, but you decided to, what, come here and punish me? Is that it? What are you talking about? You're the one who showed up and stole what was mine in the first place, okay? I'm supposed to be Batman, you're Robin. Oh, this whole thing again? <laughs> are you dumb? I didn't take anything from you. Your body took it from you. Uh, look, Tommy, I'm sorry. No. I'm just gonna leave. I don't know what his problem is. You gotta go talk to him, man. Go clear the air. He's the one with the problem. Look, if he wants to talk, he can, he can come find me. <sighs> Jumping fiddlesticks. AT&T Stadium on this beautiful Saturday in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. The top travel destination this week for alumni of these two storied football powerhouses. And the site of the first of our college football playoff semifinal matchups. As we'll see the LSU Tigers taking on the Oregon Ducks. For the right to play for a national championship next Monday night.